<laughs> right, everybody, what we've been doing was been talking about organising online parties to get people off to a fast start for sponsoring and getting the catalogues to walk, people's walk market. So Claire and Sheila's come up with some ideas in their teams. Um, so I think Sheila's going first. I guess, okay. Um, okay, we talked about um, making the event public so that people can share it. Because <coughs> the first time I did it, I made the mistake of creating the event in my group, and I couldn't add anybody apart from a handful of people in my group. So the next time I did it, I made a, a public event, and I got people to share it, and I went live. And I found when I went live, I got loads of really good orders. And it meant that people could share my video. So it, it got yeah. much wider reach. Um, we talked about posting in the event and putting a selection and putting numbers on, maybe a selection of duvets and asking people to comment which one they liked and tempt them with a freebie. Uh, and then when they contact you, you could ask them if they want to do a party. Uh, we talked about whether men should run a party. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, well, I think they should because when I've gone live, Colin's gone live with me and it uh, went down quite well. Turned out to be quite a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Oh yeah, and maybe when you're doing a party to put in a couple of competitions, run it for about seven days. And f to me, I would just say keep going live. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's about it. Have I missed anything? Oh, well, Claire, I'll have a few things sort of thing. Oh. Well, I, I, I think <laughs> ours is more or less the same. I mean, we had about a seven-day lead up to the event and posting mm -hmm. something every day to. Um, remind people about the event, um, having incentives. Um, Deborah was suggesting the spin the wheel competition just to get people revved up and joining in with it. Um, and then one of the other things during the event, anyone who comments during it, live goes into a draw to get a small prize, yeah. such as a, 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 a scratch card or, or something very tiny and small. Um, uh, da, da, da. But w we were stressing it's quite important to give people <coughs> good incentives to join in. Uh, did we have anything else extra? Has anybody, uh, anybody been doing a, anybody to try the one where they've actually getting a, a host to organise an event, so they're getting the catalogues a week before? None of us have tried that yet. Didn't talk about that. Yeah, so that's, that's a trick. Obviously, the live ones are a little bit down the track, and a new person might want to go live on their first week in Clean Easy or K-Life. Um, so a little bit further down the track, obviously, they can do the lives, but to start off with getting the catalogues around the warm market by inviting them to an event is getting them to see the full range, and you're going to pick up some people who are probably sick of watching the telly or being on Facebook and think, oh, there might be a way to make some money doing this. And that's tapping into the warm market. So we're all learning this, so there'll be more tips come down in the, in the future. So if you're on here, uh, say hi in the comments, and if you've got any tips on that, just put in there. And um, we're going to have um, the speaker in a second. So you give these two a round of applause. Well done. <laughs> right, so we've got a superstar who's absolutely smashing at the minute. We've been involved for over 25 years. Uh, Nikki, who's coming up in the second, has only been involved for less than two years, and she's absolutely smashing it with her partner, Richard. Uh, there's never been a better time with Clean Easy. It's grown faster than ever. The warehouse has thrown the goods out in 48 hours. Loads of stock in there, and the future is amazing for this opportunity. So I give Nikki Kaywood a massive round of applause. <laughs> Yeah, working. Uh, so firstly, I'm just going to tell you all a bit um, about our story. Um, so before I joined, um, I was working as a chef. So I was working about 70 hours a week um, on minimum wage. I, I didn't really have a life and I didn't have any confidence, um, no dreams or goals. And I hadn't really planned my future, you know, I was just going to work 
in a kitchen for the rest of my life. Um, so joining Clean Easy, you know, it's not only give us um, financial benefits, but it's given me um, such a different um, outlook on everything. You know, I have the confidence now to speak. Um, before I joined, I wouldn't answer the phone to Richard or my mum or anyone, um, but now I love getting up and speaking. So uh, in gold, uh, we, we, went we went gold in period two, um, and this was just three months after we joined. So the first month we joined, we made um, 400 pounds, and then when we went gold, it tripled um, to 1,200 pounds. And then in uh, period 12, we went senior. <coughs> Uh, and we made £2,054. Um, and I only originally joined to make £500 a month just to help out with the bills. Um, so you could see how well it did work. Uh, and then it, in period two this year, we went bronze and we made £2,363. Um, we also qualified for India as well. And this was the first time I'd ever been abroad. Um, and it was absolutely amazing, you know, the treatment you get um, from start to finish. Uh, we also qualified for Madrid as well. Um, some of the other achievements, so we've um, won the 30 30 mini challenge, so you could either have a mini for a year or £400 a month for a year, so we took the £400. Um, that's just finished as well. <laughs> we forgot when it finished and we soon noticed. Um, and we also got the bonus check of £1,500, which I think was holding gold for 10 periods out of 13. Um, and then we've also won a few trophies, mainly for top sponsor and top PSG and things like that. Um, we often qualify for Mexico. Um, and if anyone hasn't heard me tell the story about this, me and Richard spent the whole time in the hotel room because we were that burnt from the first day. <laughs> so um, we did enjoy it, but we spent most of the time lapping up the free room service. Um, we've also qualified for Poland and Vegas as well. Um, I think with Vegas we're not going to be going because I'm due to uh, give birth a couple of days before we're meant to fly. <laughs> so we're still qualified. Um, but earlier on this year, it was it was around May time, and uh, Richard was still taxiing at this time. Um, but there was that many people. Um, taxiing, you know, the, there was getting more and more drivers, you know, he was actually paying to go to work in the end. Um, so we decided um, on his birthday he was going to leave his job um, and we went and bought a thousand catalogues <laughs> instead. Um, so we worked these every single day um, and we managed to make £3,133 that month. And, um, <laughs> Um, that was the highest check that we'd, we've had so far, and that was what we retailed 18%. So, uh, this is our reason why. So, there's two now, or soon to be two. <laughs> um, these are a few of our goals as well. So, we want um, to go silver and gold exec, uh, win two company trophies. We want a check of £5,000 by Christmas, which I'm pushing and pushing with the retail of this month. <laughs> Um, we really want to travel Europe, uh, get a mortgage, have financial freedom and the bronze incentive check, which I think we have three months longer to wait to get that, so fingers crossed. Um, the importance of attending events for me, I went to the events really early on um, when I joined and I think that is probably one of the main reasons for us being so successful, um, especially when I first joined, you know, I didn't really understand network marketing. And after going to the events is when I really started to understand. Um, so it, it, um, it builds the belief that you have, um, the connections you make, the training you receive, the atmosphere, um, and the leadership as well. Not just from other people you see, but from yourself. So if your, your team see you attending events, you know they're going to come along as well. Um, so the 10 most important factors for me in the business um, are to have burning desire, Commitment, vision, having no excuses, that's the best one because I hate excuses. Um, worth ethic, belief, willingness to learn, time management, production focus and attending events. Um, so I'm just going to go through 12 things all successful people do. So success is to be measured not so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles which he has overcome. 
So the first one is boldly fail. So who's failed recently at something? Yeah, <laughs> everyone. We all have. Um, a failure can and will happen regardless how awesome your work ethic is. So you can work hard as your life, you know, some, something's going to happen. Um, you know, whether it's we run out of main book catalogues, anything like that. Um, so the most successful people understand the reality of failure and its importance in finding success. So while you may want to run and hide after you fail, you must learn from your mistakes to ensure you don't fail in the same way the second time around. Um, set goals. So those who are successful set daily achievable goals. So find success <coughs> by solidifying goals that are smart. So this is smart, measurable, attainable, realistic and timely. So don't just think of long-term goals and establish small daily goals um, to achieve your vision more easily. So this month, uh, one of our goals is to retail gold. So we haven't just decided we're going to retail gold, you know, we've set um, like a daily task of setting, of placing a certain amount of orders. So instead of just thinking, well, I need to do nine grand straight away, you know, we have little goals each day, so we'll eventually achieve the bigger goal. Um, number three, it's not always about luck. So it's all too easy to chalk up success to being in the right place at the right time. While this certainly is an element of success, you can't forget the crucial involvement of blood, sweat and tears. So you can't expect not to do anything for months and just be lucky and make loads of money. Um, because that doesn't work. So don't hold yourself back by waiting for the perfect timing or idea. Some of the most successful people get there by hitting the ground running, even if the timing it wasn't perfect. Um, carefully track your progress. This is a big thing for me. So every day I'm on the easy tracker, doing all the sums 1.2. Um, so often success comes down to keeping your eye on the prize while regularly monitoring behaviours, strategies and tactics. So you can't make adjustments if you don't know how you're doing. And um, be sure to hold yourself accountable by checking your progress as often as possible and getting feedback when it's due. Um, so number five, don't wait to act. So successful people don't always know the right answer, but they keep moving anyway. So taking action will lead to answers. Um, so don't let obstacles stall you when you're searching for the right solution. Uh, number six, connect the dots. So those who are successful have the ability to see the greater picture. So look at things in the past, present and future um, context to receive favourable results. Uh, number seven, harness your confidence. So you've got to truly believe in your abilities and assess yourself to gain a clear understanding of what you're able to accomplish and use this as fuel to light your own fire. Uh, number eight, commit. So success doesn't come without effort. The most successful individuals are often the most committed to what they are working towards. So go the extra mile every day and make no exceptions. Number nine, be alert. So awareness breeds success. And if you're not keyed into your environment, you are sure to miss opportunities. So listen to what's been said about your company. Um, as long as it's positive, <laughs> constantly on feedback and keep your eyes and ears on your entire industry. Um, number 10, persevere. So truly successful people never give up. Do they ever fail? Yes. But as times get hard, their stamina to move forward doesn't wane. Develop a willingness to work through the challenges you encounter along the way. Uh, number 11, communicate like a pro. So th those who are successful have an ease for convincing others. They don't manipulate or pressure, but log logically explain the benefits. Um, communicating with confidence will allow you to more easily negotiate your visions. Uh, and number 12, display hum humility. So success doesn't have to come with an ego. Um, in fact, many successful people don't have one. This is because they understand that while extraneous factors come into play, some failure can be chalked up to their own shortcomings. Um, never forget to hold yourself accountable for every aspect of your life. This is how you remain focused and humble. So make these habits second nature um, and focus will certainly follow. Um, so I'm just going to go through a bit of time management now because um, I think this is one of the most important things as well. Um, so number one, your business hours. Exactly when are you going to work on your business? Um, so during this time, you want to, to devote your time strictly to activities that will move your business forward. So income producing activities. So 
You know, you may work, but you may have three or four hours on an evening. So you might spend, um, you know, half an hour doing recruitment, then uh, some time doing your sales posts, and then working with your team. But it's all about what is going to move your business forward and making sure, you know, you're doing a bit of everything. Uh, number two, personal development. So you'll want to devote a minimum of 15 minutes per day um, personal development, whether it is improving your business skills through reading, blogs, webinars, um, purchase trainings you can get. Uh, your personal development over time will make a huge difference in your business success. So when you work on it in small chunks of time, you will see that it all adds up over a week, a month and a year. Number three, your downtime. So this is in highly important as well. Um, super busy people tend to put their own needs on the back burner or, or they will go extreme and waste um, a lot of time. So it's instrumental that you schedule downtime for yourself. When you plan your time for rest and relaxation, you can work really hard to get to that downtime um, and you look forward to it and enjoy it more. Um, number four, your family time as well. So your family time is highly important and it's one of the most important things I think that you have in your life. Um, you want to make sure to schedule time to spend with your family, um, as well as making time to make memories with your family. And this, neglecting your family is not going to um, help you very much in your business and having them supporting you through your business. So you're growing a business, you know, to create a better life for them. Um, so make sure that like, they understand you'll be spending more time with them. Um, you also want to let them know that when you have the business time scheduled, that you cannot be disturbed during that time. Uh, bedtime, the best part of the day. <laughs> you really need to schedule a time for bed. So going to bed at random times destroys your ability to get proper rest. And um, should be trying to have you know six to eight hours per day if you can. Um, but it's highly important, however, that you do get the proper amount of sleep so that you can be, you know, at the best to work your business. Um, the real truth of the matter is. Um, if you never want to change your situation, then keep doing what you're currently doing uh, and things will never change. But unfortunately, that is the honest truth and you must learn to manage your time. In this industry, we do not get paid for studying, straightening our desk, organising our office or cleaning our house. And um, we get paid for either retailing or recruiting. So this is where, you know, we need to spend the majority of our business hours um, the income producing activities is what is going to change our lives and our bank accounts um, and it's going to get us to where we want to go. Uh, I just want to finish on this quote as well. So the past is your lesson, the present is your engine and the future is your motivation. Well done. Give a massive round of applause. Fantastic.